Since the beginning of time, men have always pursued women. It's ingrained in their DNA to hunt, look out for, and prey on other species. And you know what? The dating world is no different than the wild. Women have become accustomed to being chased by men and pursued in ways that they like and in ways that they dislike. Over centuries, men have developed their way to pursue women and enter into relationships a lot easier than it probably would have been to hunt gazelles. Nowadays, it's a lot less Discovery Channel and a lot more of a Hollywood romantic comedy vibe when it comes to pursuing a partner, that is. However, it is also known how complicated women can be and indecisive when it comes to who they want to date and how they want to be wooed. So it's not surprising that men are often confused about what they should and shouldn't do when trying to initiate the first date. Women sometimes do not know what they want themselves and just expect men to know exactly what to do to get to the finish line. The indecisiveness of a woman's brain can often lead to a man stuck between a hard place and a rock not knowing how to move forwards. But we've looked into this and we've done endless amounts of research and we have found that there are some tips and tricks that women do either subconsciously or intentionally to give you the signs that you need to tell you to chase her and pursue her because it's something that she wants. So guys, get your pens and the paper ready because we're going to dive in deep into a woman's mind and help you get that first date. Here we go, like and subscribe. Fast replies. When a woman is interested in you, naturally, she will start to insert you into her everyday life. Whether that will be a phone call on her lunch break or a constant flow of text messages throughout the day, she will open up a constant stream of communication because she wants to talk to you and be kept up to date about your day. Even things that you might find boring, she's going to find interesting because it's you. So you will notice her text messages will always speed up. She's going to kind of reply to you instantly almost. It's because, well, she's got her hand sitting in her phone ready to reply. Sometimes it could be a coincidence because she genuinely has her phone in her hand doing something when you reply and sometimes she could be watching those three dots hover as you type your reply. She may have played it cool in the beginning, counting to 10 before answering the phone or waiting an hour to reply to a text, but once she's hooked, she will drop all her little games and be very open about the fact that she wants to talk to you. Okay, let's talk about Katy Perry. At the beginning of the dating phase, women love a little chase from the guys. It makes them feel confident and good within themselves, especially if they're not sure about themselves to begin with. So having a cute guy chase them sounds amazing. If you notice she is hot and cold when you speak to her, maybe one minute she's all cute and flirty and then she's very standoffish and giving you the cold shoulder, this could be an indication that she still wants to be a part of the chase. Even if you are four or five dates in, she still wants to feel like you're trying hard to get her attention and will put the effort in to get her. Yes, yes, yes. When you first meet someone and you plan your first date, all types of nerves and anxieties come out to play. Then as soon as you get there, instantly, you feel calm and happy and glad that you went on that date. If a girl has feelings for you, she will make herself available for the next time you suggest a date or any type of outing that includes the two of you. So if she says yes to anything and everything that you suggest, this is a clear sign that she is interested and wants to spend as much time as she can with you because, well, she's got the feelings for you. She may even drop some hints that she is available by saying things, I'm so bored today and I have no idea what I should do on my day off. Now, look out for this one because it might also be her highlighting the fact that you've not arranged a date or asked to see her within a certain period. The Green-Eyed Monster We all know women get jealous of other girls when they are around a girl that she likes. And some women go out of their way to provoke women to feel jealousy. Don't be one of them girls, we don't like them. If a girl shows signs of a green-eyed monster whilst you are in that dating phase, she wants you to know that she likes you and doesn't want other women to get close to you just in case you change your mind about her and decide to pursue a new woman. This though is a great sign for you if you do like her because then that also means she's not interested in any other man, just you. And as fun as it might seem to you, don't provoke the green eyed monster because some women don't handle it very well. Just like you probably wouldn't handle it very well if a guy was sniffing around a girl that you like. 
It could be a massive turn off to a girl if you are purposely trying to make her jealous of other women. She would rather just walk away instead of competing for your attention. The eyes. If you are hesitant to approach a woman to initiate a conversation because you are uncertain if it's something she wants you to do, make eye contact with her two or three times from across the room. If she returns that eye contact, you can catch her glancing over you and maybe smiling, then she's into you and is waiting for you to approach her. She might not initiate the first contact, but she's waiting for you to chase her. Now, maintaining eye contact is also a good sign that a woman is into you and wants you to chase her because, well, she's trying to hold your attention throughout the conversation. She is fully engaged in you and, well, you have her undivided attention. If you hold her eye contact, you are showing her that she has your undivided attention too and this is amazing. Okay, as much as people don't want to admit it, the dating game is exactly that. A game. Women are just as much a player in this game as you, and they could even play the game better than you without even realizing it. See, the first thing you need to be sure of is if you want to get to level two before you start the game. Now, although it's not rocket science to know if someone likes you or not, looking for the signs can be somewhat difficult depending on who you are dealing with. Some women are very straightforward and would just tell you from the start if they like you or not. Some women are shy and are too scared to come out and tell you that they like you. And some women don't care and just want to play the game for the fun of it. Hopefully though, with the previous signs that we've just spoken about, you'll be able to skip over the game players and make a good go at finding a lady that wants you to pursue her. And who knows, could be the start of a beautiful relationship. If there are any tips and tricks that we've not mentioned, then please let us know because we want to know all the ways that we can help capture her attention and let guys know that, well, she's ready for the chase.